Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, Ryan's forcing me to talk about the labor costs in 2022. Let's get started. So a couple weeks ago, we discussed the total cost or the updated total cost of building a 40 foot shipping container home in the 2022 market, which everybody knows is pretty insane. So a lot of people had questions and they said, hey, what about labor? So how has labor changed from 2019 to 2022? Uh, back in 2019, the we, you know, general rule of thumb was add up all your materials, double it, and that's gonna be a pretty good ballpark you know, of what you should expect to pay for materials and labor. It's virtually the same thing, you know, even though we're seeing all this inflation, all this you know, materials shooting through the roof, uh, you could still do that because you can see the massive spike and increase we had from 2019 to 2022, just in material costs. So in turn, if you doubled that new massively inflated number, it's going to be percentage wise, you know, about the same thing. So we're gonna see um, if you just double that number pretty close, but I will tell you, I am having a, and every business owner I know, I mean, hit the comments uh, if, if you're a struggling business owner. Every business I know, every construction company, every electrical contractor, every restaurant, we cannot find anyone to go to work. Um, we're having to pay people $15 an hour to sweep a floor, whereas that used to be like the starting wage for a skilled person. So n now, I mean, to get anyone even to show up and half these people don't even show up to work, it's $20 an hour for the same thing you could have paid somebody $12 an hour uh, back in, in 2019. So the, the skilled trades have shot through the roof. Uh, you're having to pay a lot more, a lot more than, because that's a fraction of your wages into workman's comp and um, even subcontracted when you, you get your general liability audits at the end of the year. So, I mean, all that stuff just factors the cost of doing business and drastically increases the cost for us, which increases the cost for the end user. So all these things, but if you kind of average it out and you just kind of still took that number of the total cost of the materials in today's market and I double it, you're gonna be generally in the ballpark of, of what you should expect. If you're a super crafty shopper and you're like, man, I'm getting these materials you know, from Faith Farm and from my neighbor's construction company who just pulled a bunch of stuff off of a job site, well, okay, that's not gonna fly. Then your labor might make up 80% of your bill cost. So just because you're a crafty person for finding materials does not mean you're gonna find people that are even willing to get out of their truck for less than 150, 200 bucks a day. So keep that in mind. Oh yeah, if you don't wanna worry about labor costs, you just hire us to build it. There's a, there's a link in the description for that. Or if your kids are working, legal working age, you can just get all your kids to work for you for free. Child labor laws. What do we, uh, do we have a disclosure form for that? There's gonna be a, just, just stop talking. Okay, all right guys, I'm out of here. Ryan's cutting me off. Containing Luxury's out. <laughs>